Welcome to part 2 of low power mode versus regular battery test on macOS Monterey on the MacBook Pro. In the previous video, we have taken a look at how the low power mode stands up to a variety of stress tests. In this video, we'll take a look at the same series of tests being conducted but with low power mode disabled. Like in our previous video for the first test, we'll be using the same dataset to train an image classification model. We're passing in over 14,000 images for the training data and we'll be passing through about 3,000 images to test the model that it creates. We are starting with a 100% battery and as we start the test, I'll be checking the CPU temperature using a terminal command. And interestingly, it's actually at 90 degrees, which is actually putting it at a thermal throttling level, something that we'll have to verify as we go along. We're midway through the test and you can see that the average CPU temperatures have increased to 93% and we've dropped to 20%. As we're nearing the end of the training process, we're now down to 57% of the battery and the average CPU temperature is running around 87 degrees. The training sequence for our image classifier is now complete and we're down to 54%. We've now reached the evaluation state and the CPU is running at 90 degrees. The image classifier model is now complete, but the battery is down to 50%, 10% more than on the low power mode. So we're now going into our second test, which is playing a movie on disk with exactly half our battery remaining. We've completed the second test, which involved 30 minutes of movie watching with about quarter of our battery still remaining. The average temperature throughout this period was about 68 degrees centigrade. We come back from our sleep test with 2% decreased again, a percentage drop uh, every hour, which is consistent with our previous test as well. And now we'd be streaming some music, uh, scrolling through the web, reading some news and opening a book. Surprisingly, with just 11 minutes of surfing, streaming some music, we've hit the 15% mark, which means it's time to stream video on Google Chrome to see how long this would last. If you've seen my previous video, then you must have noticed that we had to skip an entire section of playing around with Keynote. In fact, on the low power mode, I was able to use the Keynote and work on a presentation for more than 20 minutes. And 15 minutes into streaming video on Chrome, our battery is down to 